this is Angie from Brown Haired Bliss and today I'm going to show you how to do this lace braided butterfly style. This style is inspired by my good friend over at Two Little Girls Hairstyles. I am going to link their account below so that you can see their version of this style as well. So let's get started and I will show you how to do it. We're going to start this style by creating five ponytails. So I started in the middle at the top and I just made a square. And I did this on damp hair because it's just easier to make it a little more smooth and tight. That's just up to you if you would like to do that, it's just easier for me. Now once that's smoothed out, you're going to add an elastic. And now we're going to add four more ponytails. So from that part line, from the middle ponytail, go down to the ear. And we're going to add a ponytail on the right side. Then over on the left side. And now we're going to create two pigtails. So I just pulled those three ponytails out of the way and added a clip. Then just make a part right down the middle. I just used that middle ponytail as a guide. And then just comb that hair down to the lower left corner of the head. I did it as close to the neck as I could because you want room to create the braid. And I added a little spray gel here. I usually do this throughout just to keep the hair smooth and to look a little more slick. So now we have created the five ponytails. So we're gonna take that middle ponytail at the top and divide it in two and clip the right piece up out of the way. And now we're gonna do the braid. So take that left ponytail and divide it into three pieces. Cross the right piece over the middle and grab a small section of hair from that ponytail hanging down from the middle. Now take that section and add it to the middle piece that we just crossed over. Now take the left strand and cross it over the middle. And I kind of had to rearrange my hands to keep it tight. And then cross the right strand over and add a piece in. So we will only be adding hair to the right side for this braid on the left. So cross the left strand over the middle then the right strand over the middle and add a piece in. And we're going to do this all the way down to the ponytail. So at this point I realized that I would only be adding one more piece in so just make sure you make those pieces even and add that last strand in and then just keep on braiding it down until you meet that ponytail and then you're just going to add an elastic to attach it and secure it in place. Now take that piece that we clipped up out of the way down because now we're going to use it to create the braid on the right side. So we are essentially going to do the same thing, just add hair on the left side instead of the right side. So create three pieces out of that right ponytail and cross the left strand over the middle and add a piece in. Now right here I went over to the left side just to count how many pieces I put in and I did six pieces and I just wanted to make sure that I put the same amount on the right side as I did the left side. So cross the right strand over and add another piece in. And we are going to do this all the way down until we meet the elastic and then secure it in place. At this point I wanted to add a ribbon like I usually do so I ended up adding another elastic. This is a trick that I've always done and I've shown it in my videos before but I add an elastic and I put the ribbon through the elastic just to hold it in place and then that way it won't slide down the ponytail during the day so it's kind of a nice trick to do. So I just put the ribbon through that elastic and tied a bow and I did this on the other side as well.
And here is the finished look. I love the look that it gives with the hair spread out along the braids. That's what gives it that butterfly effect. As I said earlier, I was inspired to do this style by two little girls hairstyles. You can see their version on their YouTube channel and I will add the link in the description box below. Their style has the hair half down and it's very cute so I would go and check that out. Thank you for watching. We would love it if you would give this video a thumbs up and subscribe so that you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. We'll see you on the next video. Thanks. Bye.